Today we're going to do some chasing and piercing. Uh, this is an example of a piece of jewelry that I chased and pierced a number of years ago. Uh, as you can see, there's like chased ginkgo leaves and then there are holes through it. That's what we call our piercing. There are four, you know, little holes here, one between the, the leaf at the top and then the three here. This piece was uh, is a piece of silver that was chased first and then pierced and then uh, we added a pin back to it so that it could be worn as a pin. Today, uh, I'm going to be making a utensil. Uh, this is the, the first piece that I made, uh, and we're going to pierce and do a little bit of ch very simple chasing to put this star in the, in the base. The, uh, the client wanted to have uh, a different shaped end on this, so I've made two new pieces here in copper. And uh, they have uh, been cut, and I've filed all the edges. They've been annealed so that they're soft now. And I'm ready to put on the decorative, uh, the, uh, the piercing you know, plans. So what I do with that, uh, since I have a pattern, a paper pattern like this, I put little holes in it at, at two ends right here so that I can lay this on the piece of cut metal to find the center line. This helps me put the piece down. So I'll take my little uh, sharpie here and put a, a mark through these holes and I'll check to make sure that it's gone through on the metal. Then I'll take a ruler and set this up so that my sharpie finds the exact center here and draw a center line so that I can see this. Now having done this already uh, for the first piece I've made my stencils so that I don't have to you know redraw and make the same design again. So uh, I'll take the stencil here and it's marked you know so I have like a top and a bottom and I can line this up and center this where I want it on the on the uh, spatula. So uh, once it's in place and centered where I want it, I'll take a piece of tape and tape the stencil in place. And now I have another stencil for the back because this one has a little bit of piercing in the handle, as you can see here. And I need to line that up too. So I will put this little stencil down here, line this up where I think it should belong. And tape this one in place. Always use two pieces of tape because even though you, it's a it's a side here, it could you know shift. So now that this is stenciled, I mean the stencil is in place, I'm going to uh, draw this in with my scribe. So I'll take a, and hold the stencil down with my finger because like putting pressure against the edge may lift it and carefully draw around all of these spaces.
when I start to chase uh, and hammer this design in, I'll be able to do it in your little corrections as I go along, but I think I've gotten this in here pretty well. When you're finished drawing, uh, you should pick up your stencil and look just carefully. And oh, I see I've forgotten one line here, so I'll draw that one in. Just to make sure that you've gotten all of your lines in. So I'm flipping up here and looking for anything that I might have missed. Everything seems to be down right. Oops. Yeah. Except for that line. This line here is not in. Okay, now that's all lightly scratched in, so I have my uh, grounds for chasing. I'll do the one on the end now. And since this is a little one, I can probably see the whole thing. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Okay, so now we're ready to, uh, almost ready to chase. There's one more thing I have to do. Uh, no, I think I'll chase it now and then I'll do the, 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 the rest of the drawing. Okay, now we're ready to start chasing. I put a, my bench block here. There's a little bit of pad here to keep it from slipping. And I have the, uh, the spatula here. Now, one of the things that I'm doing here is because it's so long and the block is short, it tends to balance. And this is like up in the air. So I have this little block of wood. And I'm going to put that underneath the uh, back of the spatula to keep it a little more level. I'm also going to uh, take a little piece of masking tape here and hold this still so that uh, it won't be sliding back and forth too much while I'm hammering on this. So I'll take my chasing tool which is just the, uh, the little lining tool and I will put this in here and begin to tap the line here. And I'll begin over here. That's a nice long line. Turn the piece. And put my block of wood underneath the handle here. And start another set of parallel lines. Tape 
over here. Have to go get a mallet because it's starting to change shape and I want it to stay, you know, flatter here, so. Now that I've got this line here and I want to join these around here, I will uh, turn this sideways again and bring this line right up to that last one. Because I want these to look like they're overlapping. There. Okay. Another piece of tape here. Okay. Now I can bring these lines right up to the to the point. from the other line to bring these right to the point. Okay. Okay, now you can see sort of how I've gotten the chasing started in here. I will finish this and then we'll get back to the uh, progression of this piercing.